Hey everybody, it's Aiden here, and today I'm going to be showing you some custom LEGO minifigures I built based off, that might be based off of a certain action figure line from the 1980s that was about a GI whose name started with a J. Alright, here is my first minifigure. I think she could be, maybe be a Special Forces operative or something like that. The parts she's made out of are the legs from the Rose minifigure from Star Wars, the specific one that comes in the advent calendar. Her torso is from the latest variant of Black Widow, and her head is a standard Lego City head, and her hair is either from City or Star Wars. Her machine gun is an M60, which is produced by Brook Arms. I believe the grenade is produced by Brook Arms as well, and we can get a look at the rest of her. And she does have back printing, which is also from the minifigure that I got the torso from. Alright, here's this guy, and I like to think of him as maybe like some sort of navy soldier or something along those lines. This is None of this is extremely realistic, it's just kind of more of a sci-fi fun thing. Like the real toys were, or at least the later ones. Now the helmet is from Brick Arms. The head is a scowling head that's from City or another one of those official Lego themes, like maybe one of the Knights Kingdom, like Knights themes. He's got the torso from the janitor minifigure. Uh, Brick Arms Vest, and then the Assault Rifle is from Minifig.cat, or Minifig Cat, and his legs are from Simon Reza Ronnie. This is one of my favorite minifigs that I did, so you can see he doesn't have anything on the back except for the back of his vest. Alright, this guy is more of a Navy SEAL Special Forces type guy, and he's one of my favorites. I think I managed to capture the essence of the toy line I'm copying really well, so his... Boonie hat is b produced by Brick Arms. The head is a Lego City head. He's also got a Brick Arms vest, and his torso, which is covered up by his vest, is from the new Lego City Mountain Police theme. And it's one of the. And his legs are from the Monster Fighters theme, and his weapon is an M4 produced by Brick Arms. And you can see that he doesn't. He does have back, back printing, but it's covered up by his vest. And there's that guy. Alright, here's more of a re regular old marine or army soldier, not as much of a unique character. So, he's got a helmet from Brick Arms, a Lego City head, and then he's got Boba Fett's cape thing. And he's got a Brickmania custom printed torso, and his legs are from the Lego Star Wars theme, uh, Rebel Commando from Endor. And he's carrying a Brick Ar M16, and he does not have any back printing. Oh, he's also got a grenade, and I believe that one is produced by Brick Warrior. And he's also got a backpack, so he's just more of a... I like this guy. He's more of a standard old soldier. Alright, here is what I think of as, like, maybe a Navy operative that's working on board a boat. And I like him. He's got a cool look to him. And he's got a helmet produced by Brick Arms again, a LEGO City head, a life vest from LEGO City, his torso is a Star Wars Rebel Commando. His gun is produced by Minifig Cat, and it is a shotgun. He's got a Lego classic walkie-talkie and Han Solo's legs. And the, he does have back protein, and that looks good. This guy, I think, could maybe be a ranger, but uh, please note that none of these are historical, accurate representations of any real guys. Yeah, I just made him up out of my head. And he's got a Brick Arms hat, a Lego standard torso uh, head. He's got a torso printed by Brick Mania, a Brick Arms vest, a Brick Arms gun, and just some standard legs. And I, I really like this guy's look. And my favorite part is the printed patch on his arm. That looks good in his vest is on the back, so this guy is done. Okay, so this guy, I'm really unsure of what he is, maybe a paratrooper or just a regular old soldier, and he's probably one I'm going to end up taking apart, because I'm not as happy with him as I am as some of the other guys. But anyway, he's got a head from the Lego City, and I believe it might have been in one of the castle themes as well. He's got a Brick Arms helmet with some decals produced by, that were once produced by Brickmania. He's got a Lego City torso, Lego City pants, a Brick Arms vest, and a Brick Arms gun. And you're going to see a lot of these guns, because I, I got a selection of them. And he's pretty plain on the back. 
And anyway, this guy's probably gonna be... But he's here for now, but he's probably gonna go soon. Alright, here's another guy. He's supposed to be a paratrooper. He's my paratrooper, though, once again, not an accurate representation. And his face is from the Lego Knight's Kingdom theme. That's where I believe I got this one. His helmet is... Uh, another Burke Arms one. His torso's unprinted, and I'm honestly unsure where it came from, but it's just a brown torso with dark tan, or not dark tan, medium nougat, I think, arms and yellow hands. He's got another of those minifig cat shotguns, a uh, grenade by Brick Warrior, and some plain legs, and the real way you can tell he's a paratrooper, he's got his big backpack, which is produced by Brick Forge, and you can see his double-sided head, but that's fine with me. And there's that guy. This guy is without a doubt my favorite one of all, because his torso, legs, head, and helmet are pr are printed by Citizen Brick. His vest is another Brick Arms, and his gun is as well. And he's my favorite. He's got a bunch of printing, and he looks really cool in my opinion. So he's got his strap. He's probably a Marine or a Army. And you can see his double-sided head, but that's fine. And I like the molded details on his back. This guy is the officer, and he is kind of the leader of the team, even if I like some of the other guys think they're cooler. But he's the, he's the brass, as they say. His cap is Brick Forge. His head is Lego City. His backpack is produced by Lego. His torso is printed by Brickmania, or it once was. I don't know if they still have it available. His legs are just standard Lego fare. He's got a standard Lego walkie-talkie and another one of those mach machine gun assault rifles that you've seen man many times before. And there he's done. He's one of the more plain guys. Alright, so this guy is maybe a special ops guy, or maybe just a regular old soldier. I'm not quite sure. He's got a helmet pr produced by Brick Arms again, another Lego City head, another Brick Arms vest. His torso's from uh, Star Wars, it's a resistance soldier, and his legs are really cool, and that's Lego City, and his gun is also produced by Brick Arms, it's their NATO rifle, and you can see the rest of him. He does have back printing, but it's pr covered up, and he's what I'm less happy with. I might take him back apart, I'm not sure. Deja Vu? This guy is a lot like the last guy I showed you. He's supposed to be kind of maybe the same unit or just supposed to look similar. Though he has a different head. His torso, uh, Lego, uh, Lego Town, actually. His torso is from the Adventurer's line, but it's mostly covered up. And he's got the same legs. And his gun is a sniper rifle produced by Brick Arms. Same goes for the bipod. And he's done. He was kind of a more plain one. Here's the medic. He's kind of got a... There has to be a medic in a unit to go and save lives. And he's one of the ones I'm more happy with because I got a bunch of cool printed stuff on him. So his helmet is actually produced by Brickmania. It's custom printed. His head is regular old Lego City. He's wearing a Lego neck bracket. And I'll show you what's on the back of him later. His torso is Brickmania. His legs are from the J collectible minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie. And then he's got a little pack in a briefcase almost or a first aid kit i suppose of from brick forge so more medical supplies and you can see his arm bat printing and he's carrying this and then on his back he's got a brick forge medical backpack so he's all kitted out and he is ready to go and save some lives all right here is the pilot and i did copy most of the designs from this from other people i've seen so I saw the idea of using that torso on Beyond the Brick, another LEGO YouTube channel, and Jacob actually came up with the whole nozzle using the whip attached to the old helmet to create the oxygen mask look. But I am I used it anyway. It's really good. I li like this guy. He's got some brighter colors, but that's fine. This is like near future. His helmet is from the LEGO Rock Raiders theme from the 90s, early 2000s, I believe, somewhere around that time. His head is actually uh falcon falcon from the lego marvel superheroes his torso is galaxy squad and his legs are from the atlantis theme and he's got a brick arms pistol to defend himself in case he gets shot down and then as i mentioned he's got a whip which attaches to the helmet and on the back he's got a neck bracket and a modified plate that that sticks into to create kind of a cool oxygen mask look and 
this guy, I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of him anytime soon. Alright, so in my toy line that I'm getting in my inspiration of for this these figures, the most popular action figure they made, his name may or may not have been Snake Eyes, and he was completely unprinted, and he was like a ninja type dude. So, he's definitely like special ops, navy seal type. His head's from a Star Wars guy, his torso's from a Ninjago ninja, I want to say Cole probably. And his legs are from Black Widow. And he's got a ninja sword and a assault rifle by Burke Arms, which you've probably gotten sick of looking at that gun so many times so far. And he's got, yeah, I might get a backpack for him because that's a print. It doesn't really represent anything. It's more just because it was on the torso. And there's this guy. He's one of the coolest. He's really mean looking. Or he's a really good soldier. Alright, thank you for watching, and please tell me if you enjoyed this video in the comments below, and tell me what your favorite figure is. Uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel, and bye for now.